This year, 133 Junior A teams took the ice from British Columbia to New Brunswick, trying to be one of just five to earn a trip to the RBC Cup and get a chance to win Canada's National Junior A Championship. And for the second year in a row, the Portage Terriers are among those five, becoming just the fourth team since 2000 to earn back-to-back -back berths at the tournament. Manitoba Junior Hockey League champions for the fourth time in five years, the Terriers returned 14 players from last year's team that missed out on the semifinals in Camrose. For Portage head coach Blake Spiller, that experience has helped the Terriers get to where they are and will go a long way towards determining whether or not they can improve on their 2011 performance. Well, I think it really helped us throughout our league, just uh, you know, having guys that uh, had been down this road before. Um, you know, and, and I think that at, at certain part, parts of our season, of our of our regular season, as well as into the playoffs, uh, you know, I thought it, it really helped us in our league. And, and, and as, as far as getting here, I think, uh, you know, we probably playing a seven game series against Humboldt, you know, being able to play four games in this rink has, has, has helped us um, as well as, as, as having guys that have been here last year. According to Spiller, there isn't a huge difference between the last two editions of the Terriers, and the numbers seem to support that. After winning 40 games in 2010-11, Portage posted 42 victories in 2011-12 and had the same number of regulation losses, and the power play and penalty killing units were only a few percentage points from where they were last year. The biggest change came up front, as the Terriers scored 39 more goals than they did in 2010-11, although Spiller says they still had to work just as hard to find offensive success. I think we're a little bit, maybe not quite as gritty, um, pretty solid in that, uh, and, and, and maybe um, a little bit more offensively gifted. Uh, not to say that you know that the goals come real easy. I just thought that the last year's team had to work a lot harder to, to to have some offense, and and this year's team seems to be able to find it at times when you need it. While there was very little turnover on the ice, there is one major difference between this year's version of the Terriers and last year's. Unlike 2011, Porter did not win its way into the RBC Cup. The Terriers lost the Anvet Cup to the Humble Broncos in seven games but got in as West Region representatives because the Broncos are hosting the national championship. Forward Brendan Harm says being the only non-regional champion in the field provides a little extra motivation to the Terriers to prove they belong. Yeah, for sure, you know, we didn't really want to be the team that got in just because we lost to the host team, but, you know, we didn't really get a good start in that series, but we came out really strong and pushed them to seven, and, you know, if we can use that for a little bit extra motivation, that could help us a lot. It has been 38 years since the Manitoba team won Canada's National Junior A Championship, and 39 since Portage won its lone national title in 1973. Harms and the rest of the Terriers are well aware they've raised one trophy less than the competition they're facing this week, but they'd like nothing more than to be the team that takes home the one that matters come Sunday. Oh, I think that'd be huge. You know, we've especially coming here for our second year. They're they're really behind us, and if we could get a win and you know get bring it back to Portage, I think everyone would love it and you know, we'd be pretty pumped for sure.